I don't know if there's really like a specific way that I am a filmmaker because I feel like I came in from visual art so I feel like that has a lot of influence on how I approach filmmaking. I never really was a person who watched a bunch of films or was really interested in film so I feel like I'm always learning about it. Yeah, I feel like I say, oh yeah, I'm a filmmaker, but honestly, I'm like, last year, like, just watched um, The Godfather and whatever, so. <laughs> I actually started out as a visual artist in high school, so I went to the Alabama School of Fine Arts, and then I graduated, and then kind of actually on a whim, it seemed at the time, I <laughs> I chose to study film at art school and then I quite enjoyed it and I actually was kind of good at it too. <laughs> yeah, I think all the stuff, it is quite a broad range and you're like, well, what the heck does she actually make and what's... <laughs> what exactly like links all of this stuff together but i think it all comes from a place of honesty and relatability that's something i always strive to put into my work which i think i really learned at aspa about honesty in the work and you know whether you're being honest to yourself as an artist and i think other people can definitely tell if you are or if you're not I have lots of people who I um, look up to, but no, I never really had a role model. Um, I hope to be a role model. Um, I'm sure there's another, you know, person out there who could relate to me in some way. I hope there is. I think I've been using art and film as like a, a therapy for myself, um, kind of work things out through film and art. I think that's really been happening my whole life, whether I've wanted it or not. Um, this medium is just, just so happens to be the medium that I'm expressing myself in right now. And I feel like I'm kind of self-realizing myself. It's taking a long ass time to do that. Um, kind of picking apart each identity as I go. Like, well, what does it be mean to be an American in my school now, which is largely uh, British people and people from the EU? What is it like to be that one American voice there? And not just American, but like Korean American from Alabama. <laughs> A Jewish voice as well. Um, God, what did I miss? <laughs> Uh, adoptee, disabled, whatever. Like, what does that mean? So each each of them, I kind of have to pick apart. Um, and I'm still kind of, I'm still working through it. It's, it's a lot to handle. And I feel like that's how I relate to people, perhaps, is the unique, is the universal. So I moved back to Birmingham after I graduated. I told never to come back here and then I spent two years here and actually I kind of liked it. Um, but yeah, every time I come back to Birmingham, it's full of like nostalgia and happiness and I have good friends here and you know, I think it's taught me a lot. Even though Birmingham is full of all of its complicated history and present and I think future, um, I don't think there's really anything quite else like being from Birmingham.